Okay guys, hi there, it's Gary here from GenVFX with another little one by one tutorial and tonight we're talking about another one by one modifier. Yes we are, today we are talking about the, well, I'll show you which one it is. It's going to be the Surface Deform. Yes, I repeat, the Surface Deform. Now this is actually a really, really useful tool. And in fact, it's a bit similar in a way to an early Pixar animation method. And I'll explain why as we go along very quickly. Let's start as we mean to go on. I'm not going to get rid of the default cube. <gasps> Sacrilege. I'm going to get rid of the camera. And I'm going to get rid of the light. I don't need either of those. I just want this cube. And what I'm going to do is I am going to go to our front view. And I'm going to change this to the wireframe. And let's zoom in here. And I am going to take all of the elements in this object, all of them. And I'm going to move them up the Z until we're about about there. That'll do about there. It doesn't have to be just above. It could be anywhere. But let's do it there. I'm now going to extrude this out of here like this. And then I'm going to take this one here and this one here. And I'm going to extrude them. Let's just do that again. Take this one here and this one here. And I'm going to extrude them along their normal. So let's just push those out like that. And I'm going to push them out again. Now what I've got here is this weird sort of cage shape, basically. It doesn't have to be a cage, but this is the reason why I'm doing this, because I actually want this to be a deformation cage for another object. Now, this obviously is a very, very simple, nice, simple shape, probably very easy to rig. Um, and it now has very distinct points where we can do some animation. So I could rig this with bones even. In fact, I might even do that. But let's just I'm going to go add in mesh here. I've now got a single vert. So I'm going to add a single vert that goes there. And let's just extrude this out. So let's go to the vert. There it is. Go into vertex mode. Where is the little feather? There he is. And let's go extrude. Go back to the front view and go extrude, 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 extrude. And I'm going to go to here. And I'm going to go extrude, extrude, extrude. And I'm going to go extrude, extrude. And press enter on that one there. Bring that there. Let's bring that to there. And here I'm going to go extrude, extrude again. And then let's go here and I'll go extrude. Extrude, 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 and then escape. And that one, and go extrude, 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 and then escape. So let's go back to the object mode and let us put on this a skin. And we're not going to create an armature. We don't want to create an armature for this because we're going to create an armature probably for the actual bit that this is sitting inside of. Because this is now sitting inside of that cage. And that's an important thing. Think of it as a cage, don't think of it as a mesh because you're going to use that cage to drive this object. Now, I'm very quickly going to go into edit mode and I'm going to select that one and that one and that one and that one. I'm going to shift A. No, I'm not. Control A. I'm going to scale those down. There we go. Take that one. Control A. Bring that down a bit. Let's take that one and that one. Control A, which just reduces that essentially that vertex weight. So there we go. Now I'm going to go back into object mode here and I'm going to basically, let's put this into a shaded mode. Now I'm going to get rid of this as a solid object. I'm not going to get rid of it, but I don't want it to be solid. So let's go down to our settings on our object, which is over here. Viewport display. And I'm going to put on wireframe <laughs> here. Wire. There we go. Always gets me. Wireframe and wire. Don't know why that is. Um, I think it's because if you don't have that on, you don't get the wireframe all the time. But you do. I don't know. Right, so we've got this object here, and we've got this object here. And obviously, they're pretty much done. But just to be absolutely sure, I'm going to bake this one down. So I'm going to go Object, Convert to Mesh. So it gets rid of all the modifiers, just bakes them all in one go. So if you've got a bunch of them, it's a good way of doing it. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to very quickly I'm going to do some interesting things. I'm going to get these points here. I'm going to press Control H and I'm going to create a hook object for that bit there. 
I'll do the same here, Control H, add hook object for that bit there. I'm going to go select those and I'm going to go Control H and add hook object there. And then here, same with that, hook object there and hook object there. So now on this cube, I've got a bunch of empties that have been created and each one of these empties is connected to a hook. So if I go here into the object mode, if I pick this and I move this, it moves around that object. So those essentially are kind of like controlling the motion. So if I take this one, I can make this a child of this one. So let's just very quickly do that. Let's go up here, add an object constraint and set that to be the child of empty three. Okay. So if empty three rotates, that one rotates. Okay. And then let's set empty three to be a child of this one, empty two. So if empty two does a rotation, that does a rotation. And let's do the same bit here. Let's take this empty and, and you can see that one there is like that. So let's go here and we'll make this, let's add that and make that a child of this one. I don't think that picked that up, did it? And make that a child of this empty. There we go. So now if I set this empty and I rotate it, rotates that one, that's good. And let's make this one a child of this one. There we go. So those are, are all our empties. So if I take this middle one and move it around, there you go. You can see what's happening now. So you're getting the, getting the gist. So let's go back here to our object dans la sonde. Um, I don't know what that means. Some sort of vertexy thing, maybe. Um, and I'm going to go down here and not in the object constraint, sorry, in the modifiers up here. I'm going to select surface deform. Now we want this surface, so this surface here, to be affected by any motion that happens with this surface here. So I'm going to very quickly pick the cube, and then I'm going to click bind. Now what that means now, if I go back to one of my empties and I move this up, you can see it's moving all of that object because it's that empty there that I'm moving is manipulating that object itself, basically. All the, other, all the other empties that are connected to it and that object. So I can say, take this empty and this empty and rotate those like that. And it's rotating all the stuff inside. And I can take these two and I can rotate these and it moves everything else on the inside. It is just doing a lot of lovely things. And what this basically means is that you can have, well, let's put it this way. Let's add more surface information to this object. There we go. I'm not rigging this object. I'm rigging this object. So I'm driving this high density mesh with a lower density cage, if you see what I mean. Which means that I can go in and I can make alterations as much as I want. Let's change that from global to local. There we go. Um, as much as I want to this. And I've still got the ability to go in here and say, right, well, let's add something else. Let's add a displace. Oh, let's add a texture to this. So let's go to the texture, which is set up for the displace and let's make it clouds. And let's stop it from being quite that big. There we go, like small. And essentially we're creating something which we can then manipulate with this and with its that parent there. We can just pull it around through the displacement as well. It's just a really nice, simple way to add animation to a higher density object. And that even almost feels coral-ish, you know? I mean, it's a beautiful tool, but it's very much similar to the way that Pixar, their animation system used to work. You'd have a high density mesh, and then this is what you'd have underneath. Anyway, um, there you go. That's it really for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, take good care of yourselves and speak to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.